This is Alex with Transwest Trucks. I'd like to introduce you our 2021 Western Star Lomax paired with the Lore Evo 80. Uh, this is a nine car quick loader, so low side, manufactured by Lore. Uh, quite a few differences on the trailer, so I'll spend a little bit more time on the trailer than the tractor. Tractor is like all our Lomax Western Star. 102 inches to the top of the cab from the factory, uncut. Um, we also sport the DD13 Detroit Diesel, which I think is a gem. It's probably the best part of the Western Star. And this specific unit has a 13-speed manual transmission. It sits on a 252-inch wheelbase. And the lower head rack allows so 200 inches of space from the back of the cab to the end of the number six deck. Uh, so it's efficient. Uh, its length is basically equivalent to uh, uh, a longer wheelbase. So there's more after frame, as you can see, about a foot extra after frame. Uh, the trailer itself uh, is going to be 300 inches from the front of the wheel well to the front of the trailer at the very front of the spinners there of the ratchet and then you will have 220 inches from the yellow sign that says jack here all the way to the back of the trailer and then the number nine deck is 120 inches long um, as you can see i can as well start from here uh, all the uh the paint is a two-tone paint from the factory. This is standard uh, blue and gray on the inside. And then all the silver metal you see is galvanized steel. So all the sliding decks are galvanized steel. Uh, your ratchets are galvanized steel, anything that slides. Uh, the advantage of galvanized is of course it doesn't rust and also it's a wet chemical. So you don't need to slip plate it. It slides naturally, there's about one to two millimeter film of galvanized steel. So it should last a long time. And when it eventually wears out, you can always slip plate it. We got uh, double, uh, double lockers for most of the decks. Uh, they have a new system here to lock that bottom deck. I like the fact that it goes all the way down to the ground. Uh, that's nice if you have tall vehicles. And on top of that, the upper deck, you can see that we have uh, a truck package. So that deck will slide out of the way to uh, give you clearance for pickup trucks, high, high roof trucks. Tire Max inflation system. You can see every bolt on this truck has a dual check system. So everything has been checked by two different people. You see how you have like the red and the blue check mark. Uh, that's to give a little bit more uh, assurance that everything has been gone through. Um, the hydraulic lines actually have three. Um, so there is a really good system in place uh, for checks and balances. Um, the ratchets or your lifting arm are modular. If you noticed here, you have uh, a hex wrench will allow you to remove that ratchet, replace it with a new one if it's damaged. Same thing for your lifting arms. No need to weld. You got your bolt over here and that's it. You can remove this entire lifting arm if it got bent for any reason or damaged and replace it without having to find a welder. You got your drop pockets right here, over the wheel well, uh, real classic. And then this entire bottom deck here will raise flat. So it will be even steven with the wheel well and raise flat for the jump to the truck. Uh, so you have a nice, very flat uh, avenue to load your cars. Another nice feature of this truck is that you can load the head rack from the lower or the upper deck. So um, just like uh, you could on uh, the people used to the high side trailers. This specific unit has the bullet lights all along. It is uh, built in Lincoln, Alabama, which is their new factory. And you see the ratchets over here, more drop pockets over here. If you have a tall vehicle, you can drop it in that hole between that cross member. 
extendable decks everywhere. I like how they place their lights. So you got the LED Maxima lights on the upper deck. One, two, three, and four by sides. Uh, this is the massive, massive cylinder. This is the main cylinder. Uh, it's really impressive how fast that deck will lift. And then your locking pins are pretty big as well. All galvanized, all galvanized steel. We're going to the fifth wheel real quick. Um, bat wings are aluminum, standard fixed fifth wheel. Your fifth wheel stinger is galvanized steel as well. So you won't have issues with rusting here. This slider here, just see this as a ramp. This is not structural. This is where your structural uh, deck ends. This is just to allow you to do a nice smooth jump to the trailer. So very important when you load those, you gotta rest this on the trailer's cross member, otherwise you risk bending it because it's not what it's designed for. So just little things to know with new equipment. Um, you got pretty easy access to the center of the truck if you need to do any work with the drive lines. I like their system over here to lock that number two deck. This one has the camber deck. LED lights over here. I like this tray. This is a beautiful tray to hold all your hydraulic uh, lines and electric lines in place. More loading lights. And then a measured lifting arm. So the arms on the inside, you can see how it's galvanized steel and then slip plate. But there's very little slip plate on this truck. This is where you'd have your hydraulic tank if you uh, mounted, uh, if you wanted a hydraulic tank provided by Lohr. The exhaust pipe sits right in front of it, which is great. It's going to keep that oil warm uh, in winter. I can see that I shorted myself a fuel capacity. This is a 120 gallon tank. I probably had room for another 5 inch, which is 10 gallon capacity. So I could have probably put uh, a 130 on that side, a 130 on the other instead of a split tank. That would have given me an additional uh, 40, 40 gallon capacity, actually 50 gallon capacity. Uh, currently this truck has 120 on one side, 80 on the other with a 30 gallon hydraulic tank. All right, uh, you got your slide out. This is very classic here on the head rack. Uh, different kind of builds. I like the quality uh, of the welds on that head rack. Massive welds, uh, beautiful paint job. Looks like a bicycle, like a mountain bike, really. Uh, if you remember, Western Star used to have issues with that downpipe that used to crack uh, right here. So this is a complete new system, uh, finally engineered by Daimler. I haven't had any issues since. So if you guys still run some of those older pipes, there's a recall, bring it in and they'll change it for free. Over here, you can either get a bigger tank, obviously you have room, or if you get the lower supplied hydraulic tank, you can get rid of this whole area here. Just keep your fuel capacity, and now you have beautiful space for an APU for the guys who like to run APUs. I like how the electric PTO is enclosed in this box, uh, keeps it away from moisture. That's usually what ruins them if you notice they don't work for very long and usually it's because they're exposed to water well, this window is getting a little long now so i'm going to finish it up uh, you have the high lift of course you got the drop dump valve a lot of the uh, trailer is uh, built with uh, sheet metal that is bent or laser cut. There's very, very little use of uh, tubing. Uh, these are massive tubings over here and massive for the uh, structural, the main structural. Um, see how Cottrell, Cottrell went with uh, a complete aluminum platform on the bottom. These guys decided to stay with steel. Um, however, weight-wise, they're very comparable. Um, this unit right here with about uh, 100 gallons of fuel in it is 12,660 pounds. So uh, you're looking at a unit that is 
uh, pardon, not 12, 42,660 pounds. So you're looking at units uh, empty, that would be about 41.9, uh, or right at 42, depending how you calculate your fuel, more or less, right, more or less 100 gallons in that truck. Uh, that's nice, it's really light, it'll help with the heavier vehicles. Uh, finishing the walk around. Nice access to all the ABS system, nice access to all the axles, lifting valves. And we just finished our walk around. Thanks for watching this. If you have any questions, please call TransWest Trucks at 303-301-7400. My name is Alex with New Truck Sales.